Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So I was just reading an interesting article coming out of the IMF, right? And this one is talking about negative interest rates in a cashless society. And the thing is, is that they were saying in there is that you cannot have deposits go negative on the interest rate so long as you have cash in the system. Because if you have cash in the system and cash doesn't carry an interest rate, it can't carry a negative interest rate. So instead of people depositing their money in with the bank, they'll just hold all their money in cash. So how does the IMF propose that the banks deal with this? Is that they're going to propose that they come up with two currencies. You'll have your folding dollars and you'll have e-currency. And here's the idea. E-currency, the money that you deposit at the bank, will have a negative interest rate attached to it. But it'll trade one-to-one -one for the dollar. Okay? So think about it like this. If you took $100 and you deposit it with the bank, the bank is going to put a negative interest rate on those e-currencies that you just deposited. So you're going to hold on to your $100 instead. But what the bank's going to do is they're going to deteriorate the value of the dollar ratio to the e-currency. So by the end of the year, you turn your $100 into e-currency, you only get 97 e-currency out of it. You see how that works? They're gonna devalue the dollar over time. So you have to put deposit it with the bank, who's gonna carry a negative interest rate with it. So what is it gonna do? Force people to spend their money or force banks to loan. So anyway, I found this incredibly interesting uh, also found interesting is that JP Morgan, who like Jamie Dimon, the guy who's like the, you know, the head of JP Morgan, basically who announced Bitcoin being a complete fraud has announced JP Morgan has announced that they are coming up with their own cryptocurrency. Okay. But it's not like Bitcoin because Bitcoin is like a decentralized cryptocurrency, a decentralized ledger where it, you don't have to go through a, you, you don't have to talk to any central authority to interact with the ledger. Okay, so if you want to make a transaction with somebody in a foreign land, doesn't matter where they are, you don't even know who they are or where they are, you can make that, you can do that transaction. There's no stopping it. JP Morgan coin, on the other hand, it's a centralized authority, okay, meaning that they have yay and nay in that, whether or not the value of the coin or, you know, who gets to use it, okay, they're, they're in charge of the whole thing. But I found that incredibly interesting that the IMF proposes that central banks use an e-currency to create negative interest rates and then take their cash that they have produced and deteriorate it to the value of that e-currency. And this is how they're gonna suck all the cash out of society and create negative interest rates. So anyway, I'm gonna leave links down in the, uh, down in the comments now. I'm gonna pin them down in the comments. I have my videos flagged for a couple of reasons. I'm not sure if it's from the descriptions that I'm putting together or what, but anyway. Um, look for the uh, look for the links down in the uh, in the comments. All right, uneducated economist. Talk to you later.